for an arrest and an accidental shooting in Seminole County. Good afternoon. I'm Jim Payne. I'm Meredith McDonough. Deputies say a man shot his longtime girlfriend while handling a gun at a home along Gold Court off of Hal Branch Road near Winter Park. That's our West News Gail Pascal Brown joins us now live. So, Gail, what's the latest there? Well, right now, Seminole County Sheriff's detectives are still on the scene. And as you can see behind me, friends have bought flowers as well as balloons to the scene. Now, detectives are calling this shooting accidental. 41 year old Tracy Shiflett was killed with a boyfriend's handgun. Family and friends still cannot believe what happened to this mother of two. Pain and tears were shared on Gold Court off Howell Branch Road this morning after a Seminole County woman was shot to death. Family and friends are shocked. 41 year old Tracy Shiflett was killed inside her home. Michelle Carsoner, who brought balloons, says Tracy was a longtime family friend. Uh, she was sweet. She did everything for everybody that she could. Her parents are distraught right now and can't believe what has happened. I still can't believe it. I talked to her yesterday uh, and I do some repairs on her house yesterday. So I, I still can't believe it. Seminole County Sheriff's deputies were called to the home around 6:30 a.m. The victim's longtime boyfriend, 33-year-old Edison Garcia Munez, is charged with manslaughter. The victim's boyfriend came over here to visit her this morning. They were just handling the weapon. At some point, the weapon goes off. Uh, they indi uh, the suspect indicated that he didn't know that it was loaded. It strikes her in the upper torso. She's transported to Winter Park Hospital, where she's pronounced dead. Detectives say Shiflet was shot with her boyfriend's 45 caliber handgun. They said it was an accidental shooting. Your reaction to that? I have no comment for that. The victim and her 20 year old son just recently moved into the duplex. He was home and called 911. He was in shock here. He saw that, you know, she was shot, but he didn't hear anything. Now, the, we asked detectives about calls to service this address, and they're still checking that out. They say that the mother and son had only lived here for about four to six weeks. Now, this victim leaves to mourn a five year old daughter, and a 20 year old son, and a host of friends and family members. I'm Gail Pascal Brown, live in Seminole County for West 2 News.